Hey there everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new series on the channel. We will be playing some XCOM. That's right. The uh, latest expansion for XCOM Enemy Unknown was just released. And uh, it's kind of funny actually, XCOM Enemy Unknown, I had planned on doing a Let's Play for that on the channel back when I first started, but decided not to because I wasn't sure how it was going to go and anything. But now I, I want to play some XCOM and I want you guys to watch me fail. So let's uh, let's get into it. And for people that are not familiar with XCOM, I'll talk about things as as you know as I'm doing them. I don't really want to spend time now just trying to figure out you know what's what's XCOM all about and all that, trying to figure out how to explain it. So I'll just talk about that as it comes up. Anyways, the most important choice that we have at the moment is the difficulty. I'm actually gonna go with classic, not impossible. I had thought about doing impossible, but. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that for maybe another run. So we'll stick with uh, with classic, which is still pretty damn hard in itself. Uh, we have some advanced options here. I'll leave the tutorials off. Actually, I'll leave the melt tutorial on because it does sort of help with giving us uh, a bit of a heads up or a head start, I guess, on uh, on the whole melt melt thing. Melt is a it's a brand new resource to enemy within. Which will let your, let your soldiers um, basically become super badasses. Yeah, you can go uh, like cybernetics route or you can go crazy mech route and strap like gatling guns to your arms. And you know, that sounds amazing to me, so why not? Uh, we also have Iron Man, which basically what Iron Man comes down to is that you there is no save, everything auto saves, so you can't, you know, if you screw up, you can't go back, you can't save scum or anything like that. I'm actually gonna leave Iron Man off. I usually play in Iron Man mode and I haven't beaten the game, I haven't beaten uh, Enemy Unknown in Iron Man, but I got pretty damn close. I kind of gave up because, well, I, I rage quit. I had a, a huge wipe of my best squad and it was just like, nope, I'm, I'm done. But I will leave it off because there were some problems I had with the game before. There were some bugs with like teleporting enemies and whatnot. I know that they fixed some of those, but I, I'm going to leave it off and I will do my best to not save scum. And you guys will probably be able to tell when I do, if I do, so I won't, yes. Anyways, uh, we can also reduce the beginner voiceovers, which is super handy, because Dr. Valen is a biatch, and yeah, she's she doesn't like it when we blow up aliens, but I like blowing up aliens, so yeah, we're going to turn that off so we don't have to hear her talking. Uh, we also have some advanced gameplay options. There's a whole bunch more that get unlocked once you beat the game, but there's a few here that I'm going to select... Let's just go through what we have. So damage roulette just has uh, random random damage that happens, which is not... I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, Neo Economy, the individual council members will give you randomized amounts of money. Again, not really a fan of this because uh, sometimes it just it's not balanced properly, I feel, and it, it screws you over. Uh, what the councils are, it's... Actually, I'll, I'll get into that real soon, but basically you get funded by different countries in the world. And you gotta keep them happy. Otherwise, they will stop funding you and they'll fund the aliens with their bodies. That sounded wrong. Anyways, uh, not created equally is actually pretty cool. Ra rookies will have random starting st uh, starting stats, so we're gonna select that. Because I like random things, just not super random like these. And also, hidden potential is pretty cool. As, as a soldier is promoted, their stats will increase randomly. Again, why not? Should be interesting. Uh, this I will not apply because I want to have full control over their training trees, so we'll leave that as it is. Uh, same with saves coming. Saves coming, that's actually kind of a, a funny little feature that they added. Because they know that people with saves come in a game like this, so, you know, why not make it easier? But we'll leave that off. And aiming angles, units receive an aim bonus the closer they are to flanking an enemy. So... It just basically means that your positioning is a lot more important. So yes, we're going to select that as well. And uh, that should be good. Alright, let's 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 get going. No tutorial. Do not need tutorial. I'll, I'll let the cinematic play out as well. Shut up while this happens.
site of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Thank you, sir. We will probably need it. So as far as I can tell, that's the same uh, intro cinematic as in Enemy Unknown. I'll, I'll skip over things that happen in Enemy Unknown just because I assume that anybody who's watching this series probably at least knows a little bit of, about XCOM, so... Oops, I did uh, not, not mean to do that. Let's, <laughs> let's do this all again, I guess. Uh, yeah. I guess I didn't talk about these either. These are the two previous DLCs, or at least Operation Slickshot is a previous DLC, and Operation Progeny is is a new one, I guess, that came with Enemy Within. Uh, let's... Boop, boop, and boop. And now we should be... good? Yes. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's do that again. No, I'm gonna skip over that, the cinematic. So apparently, right-clicking here exits you out of the menu. Anyway, so the most important choice that we have uh, right off the bat is to pick our base location. There are five places we can go in the world. Each part has, or each continent has a bonus. You can get the bonuses from the continents eventually anyways, if if you're good with your satellite placement and all that, which I'll talk about later on. But basically you gotta cover the world with, uh, with, your, with your good stuff, if you will, to make sure that the world is kept nice and safe. So first is North America, air and space bonus, which means aircraft and weapons. Aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase, build and maintain. That's, you know, it could be useful, but eh. I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, Europe is pretty good. You get laboratories and workshops, cost 50% less to build and maintain. Uh, labs give you more scientists and therefore make researching easier, whereas workshops give you more engineers and make building stuff easier. So this is actually a pretty neat bonus, but the labs and workshops don't really come into play until a few months into the game, so I'm not going to bother with that. Asia is actually what I'm going to pick, and it's basically my regular starting location. You get the future combat, which means all projects in the foundry and the officer training school cost 50% less. Uh, the foundry is just a bunch of random things that can help your troop your troopers out. Um, like You can build a, like a hover robot type thing. and I, I can't exactly remember all the things in the foundry because there are a ton of them and I actually didn't use the foundry much. But the officer training school is huge, and having that reduction in cost is very, very handy. Uh, South America is pretty good as well. Autopsy autopsies and interrogations completed instantly. Just saves a lot of time on your research. But uh, South America is actually really easy to get. To get the bonus anyways with satellites, you just need two satellites, so we should be okay. And Africa is straight up, you just get more money. Again, really, really handy. Asia and Africa are my two preferred ones. But we'll go with Asia this time. And first mission. So basically, each episode is going to be. Shut up, dude! I don't. Want... So that's our next drop. Stop site. talking now. We've picked up. It's not important what he has to say. Uh, yeah, each episode will basically be a mission, and then we'll do some base building, and then that should be it. And it should hopefully be around t 20 to 30 minutes. Hopefully, not any longer than that. It's already been maybe about 15 so far. So yeah, I don't. Well, we'll see. I might end it. Might end it shorter. Might leave it without the base building aspect at the end. We shall Strike see. One. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Okay, these Don't chicks. Any chances. It's like Tracy Rice, Anastasia Pap Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos, yep. And Domingo Hernandez. They all look the same. They've all got like the same hairdo. Uh, cool. This is a new map. I'm actually... I had put in so many hours into the previous XCOM that... I kind of learned all of the maps inside out, so it's nice to see new maps once in a while. Alright, so we'll just move the people into cover. Heavy cover, super important. And we are trying to find Meld as well. The Melds 
canisters have a um, limited amount of time that you can get to them in. So you, you gotta rush. One of the best strategies with XCOM before was to well, basically Welcome. take your sweet ass time and play super defensive. Which you can't really do anymore. I mean you can, it just means you miss out on, on the meld. So yeah, that's, that's a thing. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how it, how everything works out for us. Hopefully the uh, the audio is is okay. Let me know what you guys think. Is it too loud or too quiet or what? I'm actually, not sure. I'm willing to bet that there's some aliens inside there. And I'm also willing to bet that some of the meld is in this alleyway and some is over there somewhere. So we're just gonna move up along the side here. Just move everybody up together, and that should be should be good. Can you... I was hoping to move somebody up to that, but I don't think any... No, nobody can. Alright. Oh, there we go, we got some aliens. Hello, sectoids. How you do? You little green bastards, you. Do I still have... Oh, yeah, I got eyes on two of them. I wonder why that truck is highlighted red. Yeah, I got eyes on two of them, but that's not very good. I can't... I'm not taking a 15% shot. That's for damn sure. Uh, so what I'm gonna end up doing is... Yeah, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to move up along the side. Uh, put her into Hunker Down so she can get the bonus. Uh, hunker Down gives you a little bit of a bonus to uh, your cover and provides immunity to critical hits, which is actually really huge because uh, it is super easy for aliens to get crits. Because they're jerks like that, especially in Classic and, and Impossible. Uh, I'm actually going to leave her on Overwatch. So they can they can keep an eye on those aliens. And we'll move you up here and hopefully not trigger anymore. Alright. Oh, we can see a melt canister somewhere. Can I like, click on it? Oh, where is it? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, and we'll leave him on Overwatch as well, and hopefully those aliens move out, and we can peg him right in the head. So they're gonna do their stupid little mind melt thing, which makes this guy have a little bit of extra health, and I think his aim is just slightly better. Oh, of course they hit the person that's in full cover. Why wouldn't they? Are they gonna kill her now? Oh, okay, so at least we got a... Nice. Good reaction shot, miss. Good shot. And hopefully the other lady out here will... Nope, okay. Well, that certainly was not a great start. So one person is down by quite a bit. Um, hmm, how far up can I run? That's the question. I was hoping to just run up there and throw some grenades in, but that's not going to work at this point. And I'm kind of tempted to pull this one one guy back, or chick, this one chick back. Actually, how far can I throw these nades? Uh, it's not super far. I'd rather get a guaranteed kill, if at all possible. So, let's see. Yeah, let's move up a little bit. I was really hoping to see the guy that's uh, mind-melded with this dude. Actually, if I can get a grenade right in there, I can kill both of those guys. So, you, how far can you run? I don't think that's going to be far enough. Huh? Well, we'll see. We'll find out. If anything, Miss Anastasia over here will... Moving out. will uh, you will be our, our hero today. Oh, I can't actually tell if that's going to hit the other guy. I don't think it is, but I really hope it does. Hurrah! It should be a triple kill if it works. Nice. Perfect. So if you kill the guy that, uh, the Mind Melder, not the Mind Meldy, if that's even a word. Yeah, if you kill that guy then you get, uh, you also kill the guy that he's melded with. So that's, that's really good that we managed to kill all those guys. But now we gotta move up on that meld because it is running out of time. And the other one also runs out of time as well, so even though you haven't discovered it yet, it's also not, not good. You must, you must get it. Yeah, well, uh, oh, great. And they're on the roof. Awesome. I don't know if they've been triggered or not. I, I guess they got triggered. Yeah, they definitely got triggered. Okay, good shot. Good shot, miss. So 
There's one over there, and then there's one over there. Come on, Mr. Thompson, you can do it. Oh, no, that's a miss. Missed the target. Yes, you sure did. Alright, well. Oh, and it looks like we can sense where the other one is. It's over here somewhere. Okay, well, first of all, I need you to... Man, this is... It's a really bad idea to dash out into the open without knowing what's out there. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Just cross my fingers that I don't pull any new groups. Nice, good, good, good. So next turn she can grab that thing. Alright, we need to... Do you even have a shot? 16%. That's not very good. I could come in here and flank him, but then I... I, yeah, I gotta be super careful, because there's those two guys right here, and if one of them comes in... She's only going to be in half cover. That's not very good. Hmm. So I could definitely, like, I could get a guaranteed kill here. But... But yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not super pleased with this setup right here. So in fact, I'm going to play it a little bit more defensive and just pull back. And hope that the, the alien comes out. These guys have 15% and... Oh, 33%. In that case, let's give him a try. And hope that he can nail him. I'm actually kind of worried that the one guy that's over there will be able to run all the way to the side, but I don't think he will. I don't think he will, but... Uh, I also don't want to move this guy up here. You know what? I'm going to. I'd rather move him up here and be safe and take us. Yeah, a slightly weaker shot. Yeah, that sucks. Missed. All right. Um, I don't want to waste another grenade, so I'm just gonna put her on Overwatch, Overwatch. and uh, hope that they'll be okay. Should be fine. Come on, you're in full cover. Please don't get hit. Of course you get hit, because it's not like full cover, you know, matters to anything. Oh god. This game sometimes is just amazing. All right. Well, if we can finish the mission before he bleeds out, we can definitely do something about that. Oh boy, that's not a not a great start at all. Can you at least kill him? Thank you. Yeah, if we kill all of the aliens, then uh, we'll be fine. We'll get all the meld, and we will... Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll be okay. And he'll be okay, and everything's fine. Just not right now. I can't... Is this even gonna hit? No, it's not gonna hit if I put it there. Let's go up That's a little bit. I don't want to waste this grenade, but I'd rather get the guaranteed kill. Because I want to finish this map as fast as possible. I think oh, once yeah. that other sectoid is dead... Will be will be good. So I'm just crossing my fingers. All right, come on, guys, show yourself. Okay, we got two turns. Where is that other little bastard? He should be out here somewhere. Oh, I can't even. I can't move all the way out there. That's unfortunate. How many turns does he have? He's got two turns, I believe, before he goes kaput. Oh boy, this is not... This is no, no good. I'm gonna go out here, actually, and see if I can maybe get a flank shot on him. Nope. I'm not 100% I'm not certain on where he is, so that's... That is an issue right now. In fact, I'll leave her there, and we'll move her up. Hopefully be okay. Yeah, this is not uh, not the greatest start. Definitely not the greatest start. Yeah, he's still he's still out there. You hear that? Yeah, I hear that, miss. Okay, so he's got one turn. We have to kill him this turn, or else our our rookie bleeds out. I'm just afraid that he's in Overwatch, because if he's in Overwatch, which he likely is, then... Moving to position. Oh, please don't hit me. Okay, there he is. That's not 
not, not very good. I really wish he had a grenade. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Let's see if I can bring this chicken. Uh, how do I... Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna try something here. And hope that this works. She can't get the grenade over. Dang. That really sucks. Yeah, I was hoping to bounce the grenade off off the building and actually hit this guy. But it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, because this is gonna bounce like right above him. I don't know, I'll give it a try. Maybe it'll at least destroy his cover or something. that do anything that do anything that I'd like nope it sort of destroyed his cover just not 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 exactly hmm, this is not good this is most definitely not good okay what about you do you have a shot somehow I don't think so maybe from out here here? I can't tell if she can actually see him from out here. Probably not. Nope. Dang, that sucks. Alright, well. Well, well, well. He's... Like, I could take a shot right now, and the problem is if I do take the shot, that if I miss, which is only a 26%, that's not very good. This guy's likely to, you know, run out here and just blast me in the face. I'm gonna take the shot. Please don't miss. She's gonna miss. Oh, she didn't miss. Oh, thank God. And mission over. Good work out there. Woo! If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Wow. Anastasia, you you, you pulled orders. through at the end. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Thank you, Doctor Valen. Yeah, she really pulled through at the end there. Oh man, that was. Huh. Yeah, I'm not often gonna be taking those 25% shots. I need at least, like, a 70% to be confident in the shot. And even then, I mean, there are many times where I've missed 90% shots, so... Who knows with this game. I'm gonna skip this cinematic. He's basically just introducing himself. Uh, well, that was a great start. I mean, we have... We had some promotions, but we also have some serious, serious injuries. Oh, well. That's, that's fine. I guess that just means we'll get more people training. Anyhow, so we have a support class here, which starts with smoke grenades, very handy. We have a sniper, which is quite possibly my favorite class. Very nice. Headshots, which are really, really good. They actually did nerf the snipers a bit. They had an ability, the squad side, which they could basically shoot from halfway across the map and be totally okay. Commander to the research labs. And Commander then we got an assault. Labs. Assaults are pretty good as well. With the run and gun ability, they can... Uh, instead of dashing, they can use their, their dash part the to still be able to do stuff, to unloaded, still be able to make actions. Thank you, thank you, thank commander. you, Dr. Valen. I wish you would be quiet. So yeah, you can uh, you can use the assault class to sneak up on people and just blast them in the face with a shotgun. Anyways, uh, start the research, and let's go with... Well, might as well start with the melody combination. The invaders appear to have deployed canisters of this strange substance in human-populated areas. Oh, shut up. Commander to engineering. I'll be there soon. Perhaps as an experiment. It might also be a weapon of some kind. Further analysis could tell us what the hell it's all about. So yeah, let's... Uh, I agree. That does seem to be the most... I'm glad you agree. Thank you, Dr. Volan. You are the most important character ever. God, she just needs to be quiet once in a while. Anyway, yeah, this is where we build our items, so we're gonna... Set ourselves up with a med kit, because that's always handy, and a satellite as well. These satellites are what you need to reduce the panic in other countries. Uh, I guess we don't have that yet, so we can't actually check that. And anyway, let's go to mission control. And this is where we're going to be spending a good chunk of our time, just looking for things. Uh, but I actually didn't look at the facilities, which is pretty damn important as well. So this is where you actually build your, your stuff. This is a decent setup, actually. Oh, it's 60. Dang. 
And it's a decent setup. I like having the steam on the second level somewhere because you can build a thermal power generator. Unfortunately, we need 60, 60 credits to build a power generator and we can't actually sell anything yet because we don't have access to the situation room. So let's go to mission control and scan. And hope we find... Uh, ah, there we go. Alien abductions. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. All right, so the abductions are some of the more common missions you'll be getting. They'll give you either engineers, scientists, money, or sometimes they'll give you an actual soldier. But most common is uh, scientists, money, or engineers. And you can see you can see the panic levels in these countries. So this is yellow and that's red. We have Nigeria, which is Nigeria is pretty jacked up. But I really want engineers. And India's pretty messed up too. Yeah, the, the whole world is kind of messed up. It's fine, we're gonna go with Nigeria. I do want those engineers. The difficulty is difficult. Difficulty is difficult, yes. But we'll uh, we'll make do with all we got. Oh, and we have all rookies. Great. Except for Squatty Hernandez. Alrighty. Well, who here? Miss Park? You can be our whoops. No, not that. You can be our medic. And uh, hope you don't you're not the first one to die. All right. Well, on that note, I will be leaving it here. And yeah, let's uh, let's launch. There's not much else we can do. So yeah, I'll leave it here for now. Let me know what you guys think about this new series. I hope you guys are enjoying. It's uh, definitely a pretty intense game. I really enjoy games where there's an emergent story. You basically make Touching your own down. story. And having a game like this where your soldiers can permadeath. And Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep the, in the Nigerian oh, interior for the next operation. I wish I could tell these guys to be quiet. Alien. But yeah, games where you can, like, in a game like this, where you can actually... You, you get super attached to your soldiers, and then they die, and then you go like, Ah, oh, crap, what do I do now? So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this... Thank you, Sky Ranger. Roger, big sky. Reading you five by five. Yeah. Strike one yep. has yep. green light for deployment. Yeah, we're good, thanks. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing how this series is going to play out. I'll probably keep going until I have like a mental breakdown and lose my entire primary squad. Anyways, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. You know, leave some comments, some likes down below, all that other fun stuff. You know what to do. And I will catch you in the next episode. Take care.